Hey, how's it going? Today, I wanted to talk to you about one of the biggest problems that English learners have, and that is listening comprehension. Many English learners can understand their teacher, they can understand classroom English, but when they try to understand and communicate with native English speakers in the real world, they really, really struggle. However, there are five things that you as an English learner can do that will really, really improve your listening. These are very simple, they work for any level, and if you try these, I 100% guarantee that you will have an easier time understanding native English speakers in the future. The first thing you wanna do is to identify the problem you're having. A lot of people know that they struggle with listening comprehension, but they don't really realize why. Most of the time, for an English learner, if you can't understand someone, it's because of one of these three things. The first is the speed. Are they speaking too quickly and are they connecting their words too fast for you to understand? Next is vocabulary. Are they using too many words that you don't know? This can include more difficult advanced vocabulary words as well as idioms and slang, things that you wouldn't really learn in school. And finally, accent. Do you not understand their accent and the way that they speak? All three of these need a different strategy to fix. And most English learners have trouble with a combination of these. So you might have problems with two of these or even all of them. But the point here is that there's more than one reason that a person struggles with listening and you need to identify your specific reason and then form a study strategy based around that. Next, this is incredibly important. If you want to understand native speakers in the real world, you need to listen to unscripted content. Movies and TV are good, but they are scripted. It's not someone truly speaking. It's an actor reciting lines. So you don't get all those little uhs and likes or quick topic changes that you would get in a natural conversation. And it's important to practice with those because that's what you'll hear in the real world. The point I'm making is that you want your practice to be as close as possible to the real thing. So here is some better content that you can practice with that's a little bit closer to reality than TV shows and movies. First, podcasts are really good, or really any live radio talk show. Live interviews and then live conversations and debates are also really good. If you aren't sure where to find this content, I actually have another video where I share three really good listening resources for students. These are three very effective YouTube channels that I think are great listening practice. If you're watching this video right now on YouTube or LinkedIn, I'll put a link to that video in the description. If you're watching this on my blog, then just check out the video directly below this. Tip number three is that you need to listen and practice listening to the specific accent of the people that you interact with. At your job, if you interact with people from Australia, you need to practice listening to an Australian accent. If you interact with Americans, then listen to an American accent. This seems a little obvious, but not everybody does it. And the good thing is that there are enough resources out there that you can find great practice material in any accent. So whatever accent you need to learn, you can find things to practice in that accent. Tip number four is that when you're practicing listening and you really want to comprehend something, you should listen to it three times. And each time you're doing something slightly different. The first time you should listen at full speed with no subtitles. So exactly how it was naturally made. And this first time, you're just trying to understand as much as you can. You're trying to understand the main topic and the main idea. You might not understand everything, but that's all right. 
because the second time you listen to it, you want to make it easier. You can adjust the speed to slow it down and or turn the subtitles on. Here the goal is for more complete comprehension. You want to be able to understand all or almost all of the resource after listening to it at a slowed down speed with subtitles. After you feel more confident that you can follow what they say, then you try to listen to it again at full speed, this time really trying to follow along and understand everything. This is a lot more effective than just listening to it once at full speed and then trying something else. And finally, you really should practice summarizing what you're listening to. Do not just listen and sit there silently and just absorb the information. You want to actually practice summarizing what you've heard and even giving your own opinion on it. So, how should you do this? Maybe you're watching a short video on YouTube. Listen for one or two minutes and then pause the video and out loud try to summarize it. Say, okay, the woman in the video was talking about and then give your summary. This is much better because it will actually test and challenge your mind to fully understand and be able to explain the information that you just heard. Plus, there are many, many times in business and in life where we have to summarize or explain something. This is excellent practice for that. All right, that was the last tip. I hope this was helpful. All right, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.